The monarchy of Belgium is a constitutional, hereditary, and popular monarchy whose incumbent is titled the King or Queen of the Belgians Dutch, Koning in Der Belgen, French, Roy, Reine des Belgies, German, Konig in Der Belgier and serves as the country's head of state. There have been seven Belgian monarchs since independence in 1830. The incumbent, Philippe, ascended the throne on 21 July 2013, following the abdication of his father. Origins When Belgium became independent in 1830 the National Congress chose a constitutional monarchy as the form of government. The Congress voted on the question on of November 1830, supporting monarchy by 174 votes to 13. In February 1831, the Congress nominated Louis, Duke of Namur, the son of the French king Louis-Philippe, but international considerations deterred Louis-Philippe from accepting the honour for his son. Following this refusal, the National Congress appointed Erasme Louis, Baron Sirlet de Chokier to be the Regent of Belgium on 25 February 1831. Leopold of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha was designated as King of the Belgians by the National Congress and swore allegiance to the Belgian constitution in front of St. Jacob's Church at Codenberg Palace in Brussels on 21 July. This day has since become a national holiday for Belgium and its citizens. <laughs> Hereditary and constitutional as a hereditary constitutional monarchy system, the role and operation of Belgium's monarchy is governed by the constitution. The royal office of king is designated solely for a descendant of the first king of the Belgians, Leopold I. Since he is bound by the constitution above all other ideological and religious considerations, political opinions and debates and economic interests the king is intended to act as an arbiter and guardian of Belgian national unity and independence. Belgium's monarchs are inaugurated in a purely civil swearing-in ceremony. The Kingdom of Belgium was never an absolute monarchy. Nevertheless, in 1961, the historian Ramon Arango, wrote that the Belgian monarchy is not "...truly constitutional". <laughs> Leopold I, Leopold II and Albert I King Leopold I was head of foreign affairs, as an ancient regime monarch, the foreign ministers having the authority to act only as ministers of the king. Leopold I quickly became one of the most important shareholders of the Société Générale de Belgique, Leopold's son, King Leopold II is chiefly remembered for the founding and capitalization of the Congo Free State which caused public resentment when the atrocities perpetrated by the Belgians were made public. Millions of Congolese were killed as a result of Leopold's policies in the Congo. Neither the Belgian monarchy nor the Belgian state have ever apologized for these atrocities. On several occasions, Leopold II publicly expressed disagreement with the ruling government, e.g., on the 15th of August 1887 and in 1905 against Prime Minister Auguste Birnert, and was accused by Yvonne Goé of non-compliance with the country's parliamentary system. In a similar manner, Albert I of Belgium would later state that he was in command of the Belgian army contrary to his Prime Minister Charles de Broqueville, also against the Belgian constitution. <inaudible> <inaudible> Leopold III and Baudouin Louis Woden, the chef de cabinet of Leopold III from 1934 to 1940, thought the king's oath to the constitution implied a royal position over and above the constitution." He compared the king to a father, the head of a family. "...regarding the moral mission of the king," said Irongo, it is permissible to point to a certain analogy between his role and that of a father, or more generally, of parents in a family. The family is, of course, a legal institution as is the state. But what would a family be where everything was limited among those who compose it to simply legal relationships? In a family when one considers only legal relationships one comes very close to a breakdown in the moral ties founded on reciprocal affection without which a family would be like any other fragile association. According to Arango, Leopold III of Belgium shared these views about the Belgian monarchy. 
In 1991, towards the end of the reign of Bedouin, Senator Yves de Wasige, a former member of the Belgian Constitutional Court, cited four points of democracy which the Belgian Constitution lacks. The king chooses the ministers. The king is able to influence the ministers when he speaks with them about bills, projects and nominations. The king promulgates bills, and The king must agree to any change of the constitution. Topic. Constitutional, political, and historical consequences Topic. The Belgian monarchy was from the beginning a constitutional monarchy, patterned after that of the United Kingdom. Raymond Fusilier wrote the Belgian regime of 1830 was also inspired by the French constitution of the Kingdom of France 1791 the United States Declaration of Independence of 1776 and the old political traditions of both Walloon and Flemish provinces. It should be observed that all monarchies have suffered periods of change as a result of which the power of the sovereign was reduced, but for the most part those periods occurred before the development of the system of constitutional monarchy and were steps leading to its establishment. The characteristic evidence of this is in Great Britain where there was an evolution from the time when kings ruled through the agency of ministers to that time when ministers began to govern through the instrumentality of the crown. Unlike the British constitutional system, in Belgium, the monarchy underwent a belated evolution, which came after the establishment of the constitutional monarchical system, because, in 1830–1831, an independent state, parliamentary system and monarchy were established simultaneously. Hans Dalder, professor of political science at the Rijksuniversiteit at Leiden wrote, did such simultaneous developments not result in a possible failure to lay down the limits of the royal prerogatives with some precision? Which implied that the view of the king as the keeper of the nation, with rights and duties of its own, retained legitimacy? For Raymond Fusilier, the Belgian monarchy had to be placed at least in the beginning between the regimes where the king rules and those in which the king does not rule but only reigns. The Belgian monarchy is closer to the principle. The king does not rule. But the Belgian kings were not only at the head of the dignified part of the constitution. The Belgian monarchy is not merely symbolic, because it participates in directing affairs of state insofar as the king's will coincides with that of the ministers, who alone bear responsibility for the policy of government. For Francis Delperre, to reign does not only mean to preside over ceremonies but also to take a part in the running of the state. The Belgian historian Jean Stengers wrote that some foreigners believe the monarchy is indispensable to national unity. That is very naive. He is only a piece on the chessboard, but a piece which matters. Topic. List of kings of the Belgians Topic. The monarchs of Belgium originally belonged to the House of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha. The family name was changed by Albert I in 1920 to the House of Belgium as a result of anti-German sentiment. This is a family tree of the kings of the Belgians, hereditary, constitutional monarchs of Belgium as defined by the Belgian constitution. Topic. Title Topic. The proper title of the Belgian monarch is King of the Belgians rather than King of Belgium. The title indicates a popular monarchy linked to the people of Belgium i.e., a hereditary head of state, yet ratified by popular will, whereas King of Belgium would indicate standard constitutional or absolute monarchy linked to territory or state. One, for example, in 1830, King Louis-Philippe was proclaimed King of the French rather than King of France. The Greek monarch was titled King of the Hellenes, indicating a personal link with the people, not just the state. Moreover, the Latin translation of King of Belgium would have been Rex Belgi, which, from 1815, was the name for the King of the Netherlands. Therefore, the Belgian separatists i.e. the founders of Belgium chose Rex Belgarum, too. Belgium is the only current European monarchy that does not apply the tradition of the new monarch automatically ascending the throne upon the death or abdication of the previous monarch. According to Article 91 of the Belgian Constitution, the monarch accedes to the throne only upon taking a constitutional oath before a joint session of the two Houses of Parliament. The joint session has to be held within ten days of the death of the deceased or abdicated king. 
The new Belgian monarch is required to take the Belgian constitutional oath. I swear to observe the constitution and the laws of the Belgian people, to maintain the national independence and the integrity of the territory, which is uttered in the three official languages, French, Dutch, and German. Members of the Belgian royal family are often known by two names, a Dutch and a French one. For example, the current monarch is called Philippe in French and Philip in Dutch. The fifth king of the Belgians was Baudouin in French and Boudevain in Dutch. In contrast to King Philippe's title of King of the Belgians, Princess Elizabeth is called Princess of Belgium, as the title Prince of the Belgians does not exist. She is also Duchess of Brabant, the traditional title of the heir apparent to the Belgian throne. This title precedes the title, Princess of Belgium. In the other official language of German, monarchs are usually referred to by their French names. The same is true for English with the exception of Leopold, where the accent is removed for the purpose of simplicity. Because of the First World War and the resultant strong anti-German sentiment, the family name was changed in 1920 from saxe coburg gotha to Van Belgi, de Belgique, or Von Belgian, of Belgium, depending upon which of the country's three official languages Dutch, French, and German is in use. It is this family name which is used on the identity cards and in all official documents by Belgium's royalty e marriage licenses. In addition to this change of name, the armorial bearings of Saxony were removed from the Belgian royal coat of arms see above. Other Coburgers from the multi-branched Saxe-Coburg family have also changed their name, such as George V, who adopted the family name of Windsor after the British royal family's place of residence. Topic. Constitutional role Topic. The Belgian monarchy symbolizes and maintains a feeling of national unity by representing the country in public functions and international meetings. In addition, the monarch has a number of responsibilities in the process of the formation of the government. The procedure usually begins with the nomination of the informator by the monarch. After the general election the informator officially informs the monarch of the main political formations which may be available for governance. After this phase, the monarch can appoint another informator or appoint a formator who will have the charge of forming a new government, of which he or she generally becomes the prime minister. Article 37 of the Constitution of Belgium vests the federal executive power in the monarch. Under Section 3, this power includes the appointment and dismissal of ministers, the implementation of the laws passed by the federal parliament, the submission of bills to the federal parliament and the management of international relations. The monarch sanctions and promulgates all laws passed by parliament. In accordance with Article 106 of the Belgian Constitution, the monarch is required to exercise his powers through the ministers. His acts are not valid without the counter-signature of the responsible minister, who in doing so assumes political responsibility for the act in question. This means that federal executive power is exercised in practice by the federal government, which is accountable to the Chamber of Representatives in accordance with Article 101 of the Constitution. The monarch receives the prime minister at the Palace of Brussels at least once a week, and also regularly calls other members of the government to the palace in order to discuss political matters. During these meetings, the monarch has the right to be informed of proposed governmental policies, the right to advise, and the right to warn on any matter as the monarch sees fit. The monarch also holds meetings with the leaders of all the major political parties and regular members of parliament. All of these meetings are organized by the monarch's personal political cabinet which is part of the royal household. The monarch is the commander-in-chief of the Belgian armed forces and makes appointments to the higher positions. The names of the nominees are sent to the monarch by the Ministry of Defence. The monarch's military duties are carried out with the help of the military household which is headed by a general office. Belgians may write to the monarch when they meet difficulties with administrative powers. The monarch is also one of the three components of the federal legislative power, in accordance with the Belgian constitution, together with the two chambers of the federal parliament, the Chamber of Representatives and the Senate. All laws passed by the federal parliament must be signed and promulgated by the monarch. Previously, children of the king were entitled to a seat in the Senate when they were 18. 
This right was abolished in 2014 as part of the Sixth Belgian State Reform. Inviolability <inaudible> 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 Article 88 of the Belgian Constitution provides that, "...the king's person is inviolable, his ministers are responsible." This means that the king cannot be prosecuted, arrested, or convicted of crimes, cannot be summoned to appear before a civil court, and is not accountable to the federal parliament. This inviolability was deemed incompatible, however, with Article 27 of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court which states that official capacity shall not exempt a person from criminal responsibility under the statute. Traditions the court still keeps some old traditions, most famous is the tradition that the reigning king of the Belgians becomes the godfather of a seventh son and the queen the godmother of a seventh daughter. The child is then given the name of the sovereign and receives a gift from the palace and lord mayor of the city. Similar traditions are attached to the Russian Tsar and the president of Argentina. Another tradition is the centuries old ceremonial welcome the new king receives in the country during the joyous entry. This tradition goes back to the Dukes of Brabant. Topic: Popular support. Topic: The Belgian monarchy enjoys a lower degree of support than other European monarchies and is often questioned. Popular support for the monarchy has historically been higher in Flanders and lower in Wallonia. The generally pro-monarchy Catholic Party and later Christian Social Party dominated in Flanders, while the more industrialized Wallonia had more support for the Belgian Labour Party and later Socialist Party. For example, the 1950 referendum saw Flanders voting strongly in favour of King Leopold III returning, whereas Wallonia was largely against. However, in recent decades these roles have reversed, as religiosity in Flanders has decreased and the king is seen as protecting the country against Flemish separatism and the country's partition. <laughs> Royal household The king S household Dutch Het Huis van de Koning French La Maison du Roy German Das Haus des Königs was reorganized in 2006 and consists of 7 autonomous departments and the court S steering committee each head of department is responsible for his department and is accountable to the king the following departments currently make up the king's household the department for economic social and cultural affairs the King's Cabinet The King's Military Household The King's Civil List The Department for Foreign Relations The Department of the Protocol of the Court The Department of Petitions The King's Chief of Cabinet is responsible for dealing with political and administrative matters and for maintaining the relations with the government, trade unions and industrial circles. In relation to the king, the chief assists in keeping track of current events, informs regarding all aspects of Belgian life, proposes and prepares audiences, assists in preparing speeches and informs the king about developments in international affairs. The chief of cabinet is assisted by the deputy and legal advisor, the press advisor and the archivist. The incumbent chief of cabinet is Baron Frans van Dale, former chief of cabinet of president of the European Council Herman van Rompuy. The head of the king's military household assists the king in fulfilling his duties in the field of defence. He informs the king about all matters of security, defence policy, the views of Belgium's main partner countries and all aspects of the Belgian armed forces. He organises the king contacts with the armed forces, advises in the fields of scientific research and police and coordinates matters with patriotic associations and former service personnel. The military household is also responsible for managing the palace's computer system. The head of the military household is a general officer, currently General Jeff Van Den Put and assisted by an advisor, currently Lieutenant Colonel Aviator Serge Vassert. The King S. Aides de camp and the King's equerries are also attached to the military household. The King's aides de camp are senior officers chosen by the monarch and charged with carrying out certain tasks on his behalf, such as representing him at events. The King 
S. equerries are young officers who take turns preparing the king's activities, informing him about all the aspects that may be important to him and providing any other useful services such as announcing visitors. The equerry accompanies the king on his trips except for those of a strictly private nature. The intendant of the king's civil list is responsible for managing the material, financial and human resources of the king's household. He is assisted by the commandant of the royal palaces, the treasurer of the king's civil list and the civil list advisor. The intendant of the civil list also advises the king in the field of energy, sciences and culture and administers the king's hunting rights. The commandant of the royal palaces is mainly in charge, in close cooperation with the chief of protocol, of the logistic support of activities and the maintenance and cleaning of the palaces, castles and residences. He is also director of the royal hunts. The chief of protocol is charged with organizing the public engagements of the king and the queen, such as audiences, receptions and official banquets at the palace, as well as formal activities outside of the palace. He is assisted by the queen's secretary, who is mainly responsible for proposing and preparing the queen's audiences and visits. The head of the Department for Economic, Social and Cultural Affairs advises the king in the economic, social and cultural fields. He is also responsible for providing coordination between the various households and services and for organizing and minuting the meetings of the steering committee. The head of the Department for Foreign Relations informs the King of Developments in International Policy, assists the King from a diplomatic viewpoint on royal visits abroad and prepares the King's audiences in the international field. He is also responsible for maintaining contacts with foreign diplomatic missions. The head of the Department of Petitions is charged with processing petitions and requests for social aid addressed the king, the queen or other members of the royal family. He is also responsible for the analysis and coordination of royal favors and activities relating to jubilees, and advises the king in the fields for which he is responsible. For the personal protection of the king and the royal family, as well as for the surveillance of the royal estates, the Belgian Federal Police at all times provides a security detail to the royal palace, commanded by a chief police commissioner. The other members of the royal family have a service at their disposal. <laughs> <laughs> members of the Belgian royal family Members of the royal family hold the title of Prince Princess of Belgium, with the style of Royal Highness. Prior to World War I, they used the additional titles of Prince Princess of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha and Duke Duchess of Saxony as members of the House of Wetton. Those entitled to the title of Prince Princess of Belgium by the Royal Decree of 14 March 1891 were all legitimate male line descendants of Leopold I. This was repealed by the Royal Decree of 2 December 1991, wherein it was stated that all descendants of Albert, Prince of Liege were entitled to the title of Prince Princess of Belgium. In 2015, a royal decree further limited those entitled to be Prince Princess of Belgium as children and grandchildren of the monarch or of the monarch. S. Heir. Prior to this, all descendants of Albert II were entitled to the title of Prince or Princess. Philippe, born the 15th of April 1960, is King of the Belgians. He married on the 4th of December 1999, Jean Matilde D. Udecum D. A. C. O. Z., who was created H. R. H. Princess Matilda of Belgium, Duchess of Brabant a day before their wedding, and became, from 21 July 2013, Queen Matilda of the Belgians. She is a daughter of the late Patrick D. Udecum de Cuz made a count prior to the wedding and his wife, Countess Anna Maria Komorowska. They have four children. HRH Princess Elizabeth, Duchess of Brabant, who will inherit the throne after her father due to a 1991 Act of Succession which established absolute gender-neutral primogeniture, altering the order of succession from eldest son to eldest child. HRH Prince Gabriel of Belgium HRH Prince Emmanuel of Belgium HRH Princess Eleanor of Belgium Topic Other members of the royal family Topic HM King Albert II, born 6 June 1934. He was the king between 1993 following the death of his brother King Bedouin and 21 July 2013, the Belgian National Day, when he abdicated in favour of his son Philippe, Duke of Brabant, because of ill health. 
On 2 July 1959, he married Donna Paola Ruffo di Calabria born the 11th of September 1937 in Brussels, who was created HRH Princess Paola of Belgium, Princess of Liege a day before their wedding, and after 1993, became Queen Paola of the Belgians. She is the daughter of Fulco VIII, Prince Ruffo di Calabria, 6th Duke of Guardia Lombarda (1884–1946), and his wife, Luisa Gazelli dei Conti di Rosana e di Sebastiano (1896–1989). Together, they have three children: the current king, see above, a daughter, and another son, H I and R H Princess Astrid, Archduchess of Austria Este, born the 5th of June 1962. She is the wife of H. I. and R. H. Prince Lorenz of Belgium, Archduke of Austria Este, Prince Royal of Hungary and Bohemia, whom she married on of September 1984 and who was created a Prince of Belgium in 1995. Princess Astrid, with her own descendants, is before her brother Laurent in the order of succession to the Belgian throne, due to the 1991 Act of Succession mentioned above. They have five children, H. I. and R. H. Prince Amadeo of Belgium, Archduke of Austria Este. He married Elisabetta Maria Rosbich von Wokenstein on 5 July 2014. They have one daughter, H. I. and R. H. Archduchess Anna Astrid of Austria Este H. I. and R. H. Princess Maria Laura of Belgium, Archduchess of Austria Este H. I. and R. H. Prince Joachim of Belgium, Archduke of Austria Este H. I. and R. H. Princess Luisa Maria of Belgium, Archduchess of Austria Este H. I. and R. H. Princess Letitia Maria of Belgium, Archduchess of Austria Este H. R. H. Prince Laurent of Belgium born the 19th of October 1963. He married Claire Coombs, an Anglo-Belgian former land surveyor, on 12 April 2003, who was created HRH Princess Claire of Belgium 11 days before their wedding. They have one daughter and two sons, HRH Princess Louise of Belgium HRH Prince Nicholas of Belgium HRH Prince Americ of Belgium Topic Other descendants of Leopold EI Topic HRH Henri, Grand Duke of Luxembourg born 16 April 1955. He is the eldest son of Grand Duke Jean and Princess Josephine Charlotte of Belgium, sister of Kings Bedouin and Albert II and aunt of King Philippe. HRH Princess Leia of Belgium born the 2nd of December 1951. She is the widow of Prince Alexander of Belgium, half-brother of both Kings Bedouin and Albert II, and half-uncle of King Philippe. HRH Princess Marie-Christine, Mrs. Gorgs born the 6th of February 1951. She is the eldest daughter of Leopold III and Lillian, Princess of Rithi, half-sister of both Kings Bedouin and Albert II and half-aunt of King Philippe. Her first marriage, to Paul Drucker, Toronto, Ontario, 1 November 1937 to 1 April 2008 in Coral Gables, Miami-Dade County, Florida, on 23 May 1981, lasted 40 days though they weren't formally divorced till 1985. She subsequently married Jean-Paul Gorges in Los Angeles, California, on 28 September 1989. HRH Princess Marie Esmeralda, Lady Moncada, born the 30th of September 1956. She is the youngest daughter of Leopold III and Lillian, Princess of Rithi, half sister of both Kings Bedouin and Albert II, and half aunt of King Philippe. Princess Marie Esmeralda is a journalist, writing under the name Esmeralda de Rithi. She married Sir Salvador Moncada, a Honduran British pharmacologist, in London on the 4th of April 1998. They have a daughter, Alexandra Lepoldini, born in London on the 4th of August 1998, and a son, Leopoldo Daniel, born in London on the 21st of May 2001. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Family tree of members. Topic: <laughs> Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Deceased members. Topic. <laughs> Crown Prince Louis Philippe, eldest son of Leopold I, died in 1834. Queen Louise Marie, second wife of Leopold I, died in 1850. King Leopold I, second son of Prince Francis, died in 1865. Emperor Maximilian I of Mexico, husband of Princess Charlotte, daughter of Leopold I, died in 1867. Prince Leopold, Duke of Brabant, eldest son of Leopold II, died in 1869. Princess Josephine Marie, second daughter of Prince Philippe, third son of Leopold I, died in 1871. 
Crown Prince Rudolf of Austria first husband of Princess Stephanie, daughter of Leopold II, died in 1889. Prince Baudouin, eldest son of Prince Philippe, third son of Leopold I, died in 1891. Queen Marie Henriette, wife of Leopold II, died in 1902. Prince Philippe, Count of Flanders, third son of Leopold I, died in 1905. King Leopold II, second son of Leopold I, died in 1909. Princess Marie, Countess of Flanders, widow of Prince Philippe, third son of Leopold I, died in 1912. Prince Karl Anton of Hohenzollern, husband of Princess Josephine Caroline, sister of Albert I, died in 1919. Prince Philip of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha, Duke in Saxony, husband of Princess Louise, daughter of Leopold II, died in 1921. Princess Louise of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha, Duchess in Saxony, eldest daughter of Leopold II, died in 1924. Prince Victor, Prince Napoleon, husband of Princess Clementine, daughter of Leopold II, died in 1926. Empress Carlota of Mexico, eldest daughter of Leopold I, died in 1927. Prince Emmanuel, Duke of Vendôme and Alencon, husband of Princess Henriette, sister of Albert I, died in 1931. King Albert I, youngest son of Prince Philippe, third son of Leopold I, died in 1934. Queen Astrid, first wife of Leopold III, died in 1935. Crown Princess Stephanie of Austria, Princess Lanya de Nagy Lanya, eldest daughter of Leopold II, died in 1945. Prince Elmer Lanya de Nagy Lanya, widower of Princess Stephanie, daughter of Leopold II, died in 1946. Princess Henriette, Duchess of Vendôme and Alencon, eldest daughter of Prince Philippe, third son of Leopold I, died in 1948. Clementine, Princess Napoleon, youngest daughter of Leopold II, died in 1955. Princess Josephine Caroline of Hohenzollern, third daughter of Prince Philippe, son of Leopold I, died in 1958. Queen Elizabeth, widow of Albert I, died in 1965. King Umberto II of Italy, husband of Princess Maria Jose, daughter of Albert I, died in 1983. Prince Regent Charles, Count of Flanders, second son of Albert I, died in 1983. King Leopold III, eldest son of Albert I, died in 1983. King Baudouin I, eldest son of Leopold III, died in 1993. Queen Marie Jose of Italy, eldest daughter of Albert I, died in 2001. Lillian, Princess of Rethy, second wife of Leopold III, died in 2002. GRA ND Duchess Josephine Charlotte of Luxembourg, eldest daughter of Leopold III, died in 2005. Prince Alexander, third son of Leopold III, died in 2009. Queen Fabiola, widow of Bedouin I, died in 2014. Topic: Royal Consorts. Topic. Princess Louise d'Orléans, second wife of King Leopold I. Archduchess Marie Henriette of Austria, wife of King Leopold II. Duchess Elizabeth in Bavaria, wife of King Albert I. Princess Astrid of Sweden, first wife of King Leopold III. Mary Lillian Bayels Asterisk, second wife of King Leopold III. Doña Fabiola de Mora y Aragón, wife of King Baudouin. Donna Paola Ruffo di Calabria, wife of King Albert II. Jongru Matilda di Udecum d Acoz, wife of King Philippe. Topic. See also. Topic. List of Belgian monarchs. List of heirs to the Belgian throne. Line of succession to the Belgian throne. Crown Council of Belgium. Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. The Belgian Monarchy, official site of the Belgian royal family The Belgian Monarchy, official brochure of the Belgium government What role for a Belgian monarch? Website Expatica
com